Hey, we're back from Corona POS today to talk about booze again. I wanted to focus on the great state of California this time, specifically how to get a liquor license there and what it's going to cost you. The California Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control, or ABC, oversees all liquor licensing activities. And California law requires that any business that sells alcohol must obtain a permit issued by the ABC. While commonly referred to as liquor licenses, these permits can be for beer, wine, and other alcoholic beverages. Depending on your situation in the current market, obtaining a liquor license can vary from 60 days to three months. If you are considering opening a liquor store, wine store or bar expect to spend a significant amount on your liquor license it's california after all but with over 90 specific types of licenses to choose from finding the suitable license and its price can take a little bit of time and effort stay tuned to learn more about how much a liquor license costs in california and the most common types of liquor licenses available first let's talk about the cost California has nearly 100 liquor licenses to suit all different kinds of circumstances. You can also find a complete list of ABC license types and their application fees on the ABC website, which if you want more details, click the link in the description for that. But for clarity's sake, for this video, we're gonna keep this pretty simple. Most new wine and liquor stores will have a fee of $16,560. California calls this a general priority license. This fee is significantly cheaper for subsequent years of renewal. It's also much cheaper if you opt to only sell beer and wine. But again, more in-depth details on other niche licenses can be found through their website. Now, you may be wondering, cost aside, what license makes the most sense for the type of business you're planning to run? And as we've established now several times, California has a wide range of these licenses. If you apply for the wrong license type, you only waste your time and money. To estimate the cost of your license, you must first determine the type of license you want to obtain. And if you don't understand the terms of your license, you'll be limited to selling certain types of alcohol. Since getting your hands on the right liquor license is not always easy, it's also advisable to approach a professional. Currently, four different types of liquor licenses in California are quite common, so we're going to cover these. These are Type 20, Type 21, Type 47, and Type 48. The Type 20 license is reserved for establishments that offer beer and wine for sale over the counter. In other words, these items can be purchased on the premises, but must legally be consumed off the premises. This option is most popular for gas stations and convenience stores. A Type 21 license allows for the sale of beer, wine, and liquor in your store. This is generally the most popular option for liquor stores, which differ from convenience stores because they sell more alcohol and liquor related products. These licenses are more expensive. Like the Type 20 license, customers may purchase alcohol from you, but not consume it in your establishment. Now, Type 47 licenses are most often acquired by restaurant owners who wish to serve beer and wine with their food. It should be noted, however, that prior to having this license, your establishment must be able to prove that the restaurant or eating establishment derives at least 50% of its gross receipts from food sales. Finally, the Type 48 license authorizes the sale of beer, wine, and distilled spirits for consumption on the premises where they are sold. The Type 48 license is used by establishments that sell beer, wine, and liquor exclusively to customers who are 21 years of age or older. If you want to open a bar, nightclub, winery, or wine shop, this is the type of license you should be looking for. In addition with this license, you're not required to serve food. Also, minors are not ever allowed to enter and stay in your establishment. Now, let's jump back to the fees for a minute. When you search for liquor license prices in California, you notice that fees are different. In many cases, wildly different. According to the Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control, the annual fees charged will vary based on several different criteria. First, population-based fees. Here, the amount of certain license fees is determined by the population of your city. Fortunately, California makes it easy by grouping fees into three categories. Cities with populations over 40,000, cities between 20,000 and 40,000, and all others. For example, the competition for liquor licenses in a bustling metropolitan city like San Francisco can be very different than in less populous counties like Calusa County. California has 58 counties and each has a different number of liquor licenses that can be issued within the county boundaries. Production-based fees mean that businesses must report their production each year. Your business will be categorized with a specific fee based on total production. For example, grape growers pay an annual tax based on the number of gallons of wine they produce each year. Finally, seasonal fees are annual fees that vary depending on the number of months they will be operating. Liquor licenses that only allow the sale of beer and wine are generally much less expensive. Such a license is usually between a few hundred dollars and a few thousand. Keep in mind that the cost of liquor license is subject to market demand. And since each county has a limited number of licenses, obtaining one at a reasonable price is not easy. One year you may find the prices are skyrocketing and the following year you may find the prices have suddenly dropped. 
making obtaining a license simple and affordable. That's why choosing your business location is important before opening the liquor store and getting your license. Obtaining a liquor license is important in running a beverage alcohol business, of course, but it's not enough. Once you've received your California liquor license, you'll need to choose the right software to manage the business. A liquor store point of sale system can keep track of bottles on display and inventory in storage and automatically replenish stock when it's low. To learn more about how Corona POS can help your liquor store business succeed, sign up for a free product demo. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more business info like this.